guys. These are the three things I'm gonna do today. Uh, first thing is I'm gonna automate viral TikTok slash real testing, um, which basically means it's what I was talking about in the last vlog. It's like test out different hooks for uh, the reel and see which one performs the best by running it as a trial on Instagram, which I'll show you guys how to do that. Number, the second thing I gotta do, getting a tattoo. Uh, third thing is uh, I'm recording this vlog and so at the end of the day, I'm gonna run the vlog editor automation and just make sure that it produces a vlog. And for this, uh, importantly, I want to use this tool, which I'm gonna build in Python and N8N using cursor as usual. By the end of the day, I wanna publish three trial reels so that tomorrow I can see which one performed the best and then uh, launch that one. Yeah, and that's my strategy for the day. Let's get it. So I set up the basic flow for the viral TikTok real testing automation in N8N. And it's kind of similar to the vlog automation tool. And then I wrote down in more detail what I actually need to make. Uh, so basically I have these directories and then these functions that are diamonds. The functions read from the given directory and you, know, you can see how the, the workflow goes. But basically I have some main videos, which is like the bulk of the reel. That's what I'm talking about in the reel. I concatenate and caption those. And then I have different variations of the hook or the first three seconds of the video. So I have different types, different variations of the, of the hook. So I concatenate and caption the main videos. And then for the hooks, I just caption those. There's nothing to concatenate. And then uh, I concatenate the hook variation that have been captioned with the uh, main videos. And that will give me different versions of the final videos for trials to test on Instagram. So now I'm just gonna vibe code up these functions in cursor um, and then call them from an in it. Pretty much the thing built. I'm running the first uh, endpoint and I gotta go to the tattoo appointment cause it's at one and it's in Brooklyn. So when I get back, I will test the uh, the actual bulk of the, the automation. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Yo, so I went to get one tattoo, but I got two. So it took longer than expected. So uh, I'm gonna still do the three to do's, except I'm only gonna do, I think one trial reel with a set of probably three different hook variants. So let's get to it. 
basically just change this to Okay, while this is running, I just want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing, what I mean by uh, making different trial reels, uh, just in case you don't get it, because I know it can be kind of confusing. So basically say I have a video with me in it or something, and I want to make two different versions of this video. So I have version A and version B. And then I post those on Instagram, say Instagram, and I post version A and some people see version A and then uh, I post version B and these are both posted as trial reels, which if you don't know, you can post a reel as a trial and it only gets shown to non followers. So only people that don't follow me will see the reel and that way I can test version A and version B. And then whichever one does better, like whichever one gets more views, then I can actually push that one as a real reel, no pun intended, like not a trial reel. Uh, and that means like, you know, it'll get pushed out uh, to all my followers and to a larger audience. The trial reels only get pushed out to like a, like a limited number of people. But yeah, so I made um, two different versions of the reel that I have. I made, actually made like 10 different versions. That's, that's what I'm doing. I, I recorded, hold on, this thing is hard to control. Whoops, okay. So I recorded, say I have my, sorry. Say I have my content like this, and this is my reel like on a timeline. Like, uh, hey, uh, this is step one. This is step two. Uh, this is step three. And you know, imagine like this is like a playhead or whatever. And this is like, like zero seconds. This is like five seconds. This is like 10 seconds. So what a hook is, is it's like the first three seconds of a video. So this say, this is like the actual bulk. Uh, I called it the main video, like the main part of the video. The hook of the video is like the first three seconds where it's just you introducing what's gonna be in the video or whatever. It's like the first thing that people see. And so this has to be, you know, according to Instagram and all the algorithms and everything, this has to be good. And so what I'm doing is this part is the same for all of the different versions of my reel, but this part I'm changing. And so I pretty much recorded like, I don't know, 10 or 15 different versions of a hook. And now what I'm doing with the automation software is basically concatenate um, all the different variations, my hook, the main part of the video. And that's, uh, that's why I wanted to automate it. So I don't have to like do that in Premiere or anything like that. Plus in the future, I can not only change just the hook, but I can potentially change like the font. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I could potentially change like the font and run two different versions with two different fonts or like font size or whatever. Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how many trial reels you're allowed to do, but <laughs> I think as many as you want. But I have seen a case where even though it's not shown to your followers, it was like shown to the same person, like two different trial reel. Oh, my phone's here. Two different trial reels were shown. Like one person saw the two different versions. So that's kind of weird, but uh, you know, it's a weird experience for them to see the same reel, but with two different hooks. But you know, they're not followers and the likelihood of that I think is probably pretty small. So we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here, how this is like automating a viral testing, real testing. 
because I will say one thing. Uh, if you know anything about the algorithm or if you ever post on Instagram as like kind of a creator or whatever and look into the views, Instagram shows you how many people watched past the first three seconds of your reel. And that if they if someone watches past three seconds, your reel gets like pushed out to way more people because that means that people are at least watching a little bit of it. So yeah, I wanted to show you exactly why, how that works. And also this, not to go on too long, I know this is already like five minutes just talking, but uh, this is how a lot of software works. So I know a lot of people know this, but some people don't. So in when you're making an app or something, you'll make like two different versions of the app, just a little bit different, or maybe just like one page in an app or one page on a website. And the two different versions are a little bit different, but whichever version of the software performs better, that's usually the one that people will, the software developers will ship. That means they will publish that version of the app. And so that's called A-B testing. And I think it's super important for everyone in the world to understand that. Like, that's why I'm doing this. That's why, th that's a huge theme of what is gonna be on this channel. So, all right, I'm gonna get my food. All right. So the automation is running right now and uh, I just played guitar. I'll probably put that in the video, I guess. Hopefully people don't click out right when they hear by. Uh, anyways, like, yeah, the, the thing is running. It's printing out the uh, different variants of the reel. I'm gonna go through and pick like three or something and then just post them on Instagram as trials. And then in the next vlog, I will show you guys the results of the different versions and hopefully at least one will do a little bit better than the others or something like that i don't think the the reel is not that great uh i posted it once already and tried two different variants just with different like background music and they didn't first of all they didn't perform well either one of them and the background music didn't make much of a difference so i'm hoping that uh since you know hooks are so important on instagram that one of these hooks will be a little bit better and the rest of the video doesn't really matter i'm just running this as an experiment to see uh mostly to make the thing first and then just like see how easy it is to get one that's better than the other ones so yeah make sure you click the like button subscribe so you can see the next video tell the youtube algorithm you want to see this content all the time and might as well go to jxdata.com, become a pro member, get all of my data that I will ever post there. You can also get this Focus Timer app. You can get the vlog editor, source code, pretty much everything I build, I'm gonna put on there. If there's anything that's not on there, just let me know. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I have to obviously edit this vlog. It's like nine o'clock right now, so I'm just gonna do it in the morning and then hopefully post it by tomorrow morning before everyone wakes up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.